What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is my End War loadout. All right, you guys. I have a blaster that's a work in progress that you're getting a sneak peek of. And I'm fully decked out, ready for End War. Even got my hydration pack on, which is a must for a big event like this. I think everyone figured that out last year, that water was super important. So I'm going to start out by saying that it is a must to have some way to carry water with you. And I find a hydration pack that doesn't require hands the best way to do so. So I'm really glad that I added this to my loadout. Of course, I still have my awesome Condor tactical vest, Molly rig, and it holds my narrow base mag holders, which are the double stack version that are tightly squeeze together there with his awesome design so you can fit six 22 worker mags on your chest of course i'm rocking a strife this is my new primary stardust and it just turned out awesome it is done but definitely not complete so stay tuned a build video and mod overview of this will be coming soon because there is quite a bit to it but i'm glad to give you guys a sneak peek it is also rocking a 22 round worker mag. I have these loaded up with Kush darts. There are 19 yellow Kush and then three gray. The three gray will let me know when I'm running out of ammo and then I know when to switch mags or prepare to switch mags. So I have a total of 154 Kush darts on me loaded right now. Plus I have probably 100 to 150 loose kush darts here in my ammo pouch and these are very tightly held in by velcro so it they will not fall out you will not have any troubles when running i have a dump pouch here that i can carry whatever even a sock or two if i need or extra magazines i can throw in there sometimes but this is mainly for dumping my magazines when i need to and then I can reload and have no issues losing my magazines because especially in HVZ events, it's very important to have a dump pouch because you don't want to just be dropping your magazines all over the field if you don't have to. You may not get them back. So on my side here, I have my hammer shot that is rocking the Orange Modworks kit and it's six shot cylinder, which is pretty awesome and very reliable and definitely a good last ditch blaster just in case something may happen to my primary if I run out of ammo, if it jams for whatever reason, I have a pistol here I can go to. And if for some reason my primary was to go down or if a teammate's primary was to go down, I actually have a blaster located in my backpack. It is not quick to access, but it's a great way to carry it in my opinion for me as I prefer when I need to run a lot not to have a leg holster on my leg. Uh, it makes me less mobile and I feel for end war I need to be as mobile as possible. We will always be in danger. Gameplay is actually 24-7 when gameplay starts. So I have my zombie dust rapid pistol here which turned out awesome. Stay tuned for my mod overview of zombie dust and i actually have some other sweet things that go along with this blaster that i can't wait to show you but it is awesome it has extreme pro 180 motors in it and it is definitely a great backup primary and also will give me the ability to dual wield if i so choose so pretty cool option to have there and it's actually fits really nicely into my backpack i also have a red pouch on my back as you can see that holds screwdrivers and things like that, things that I need for my blasters or a teammate's blaster, maybe band-aids, things like that if I get a cut or something like that. Just kind of an emergency kit for the blaster and for yourself, which is important. It also has a pouch in there where I can carry a spare lipo in case mine gets run down too far. Although these usually have no problem lasting all day. I've never had a problem with that and this is a 1000 milliamp 2s graphene lipo so no worries there i have a really awesome voltmeter up here that i can keep an eye on that and definitely we'll get more in detail with the blaster 
in the mod overview video. All right, guys, so obviously I didn't get this video up before End War, so I decided to wait until I got back so I could kind of give you guys a good evaluation of my loadout and how well it worked. And I also forgot a very important piece to my loadout, and that was my walkie-talkie or FM transmitter. Jill and I both had these, uh, but the rest of my team unfortunately had a different type of walkie-talkie and they were not compatible. But I think after the game, they will agree that this is the way to go and hopefully they'll invest in some of these. They're not too expensive and I'll definitely link this and all my other pieces in the description box below. But I think this was about, the transmitter itself was about $25 give or take. And then if you wanted the microphone extension, this is probably, I think, like six bucks. So I think this is worth getting because then you can just have this on your back and then this is all you have to deal with. And this bulky thing doesn't have to be where you can get it out often, you know. I just had this literally tacked to my, this on my back and this ran over and was right here on my, strapped to my tactical vest or clipped to my tra tactical vest and then I was just able to hold this up and talk right into it, no issues. Other than that, my loadout was great. I was very, very happy with it. it if, it's exactly, if I had to do it again, it's exactly what I would do again. So I was very happy that what I showed you guys is exactly what I ran in the game. I think it was a perfect loadout for me and my style of play. While at End War, Jill and I and a few other members of Naptown Nerf ran with a bunch of members from the SENC and especially Tax Squad. We deemed ourselves as a group Snack Squad, and you'll find out kind of why later when I upload all the footage that I got from End War. So definitely stay tuned for all that. That is coming very, very soon. Great, great group of guys and gals. They are awesome people. If you guys live close to Atlanta, Georgia, definitely go check out their wars. They're awesome people. Greatly thank them for allowing us to roll with them and their group. And thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely look forward to footage from End War. Of course, some awesome build videos and mod overview videos of some blasters I completed literally right before End War. And actually the one that I highlighted in this, Stardust, is not even complete yet. So definitely stay tuned for that. I can't wait to finish that up and show you guys that blaster because I'm just in love with that thing. I can't stop staring at it. So with that, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and as always... Peace out.